this right there is a certificates related to transactional codes here system certificates related to transaction codes so we can suppose if we want to work on the ssl certificates htps certificates if we want to renewal the certificates we want to import the certificates here one dedicated transaction code in the sap that is called the s trust sso2 s trust sso2 is the transaction code here using this transaction code if you want to renewal the sap related certificates right suppose like so let me go to the yes trust sso2 so here basically we have to perform the certificate creations suppose if you want to implement the so pure certificates as pure pure sso certificates here pure sso certificates here so then we have to go to the here so we have to check this transaction code for s trust sso2 transaction code so here we can create the system there are the certificates folders are there here you can see system psc snc related psc ssl server standard means http server standard here then client certificates here so then standard certificate here there are the types of folders or certificates are here right system certificate system certificate means this is the internal certificate internal sap system certificate here internal sap system certificate here so this will be used for sso configuration perspective that will be used the certificate will be used here these all are the sso con certificate these all are the public certificates actually so sso configuration perspective so we have to use this certificate here we have to use the this certificates here right so sso suppose um, example how, how can i say like uh you have one system here you have one more system here so to both the system side you should start the system means this system should trust this system call this system should trust this system call then in this case what we can do this system certificate we have to import into the s yes trust of the this system this system certificate we have to import of the s yes trust of the this system here so both the side so the mutual handshake will happen then communication will work. Communication will work here. That is called the S Trust SSO2, right? That is the transaction code of the S Trust SSO2. So here is system PSC. So system PSC, so another system PSCs we can import to the here itself as well here. So apart from that, SNC. Suppose if you use SNC means secure network configuration here, crypto configurations. So here, what we have to do, suppose in your system is there is SS, SNC enabled. SNC means normally, so during the SSO configuration, logon pad to the SSO, this one, we will use it that day, SSO configuration, we will use it here, SSO configuration here, right? SSL server standard, SSL server standard configuration. So what is this SSL server standard here? So what is SSL server standard, right? So when it will be used, so pure, pure, pure SSL communication, SSL communication means pure HTTPS communication side, then we will use the pure HTTPS communication, pure HTTPS communication perspective. So this one, we will use it here, right? Pure HTTP communication means, so we will use this one here, right? Pure HTTP, HTTPS communication. So this one, we will use it here, HTTP, HTTPS communication perspective, we will use it here, right? So, so HTTPS means, suppose currently your system is configured to use only HTTP, HTTP means that is not the secure one, that is not the secure configuration. So nowadays, if you see any site configuration, any site, suppose like uh, if I go to the www.google.com, So here the site name is here you can see log symbol which means this is the purely HTTPS configuration HTTPS configuration the system name and they have defined here so which means purely HTTPS configuration here so some sites are not HTTP so some sites are HTTP not the HTTPS suppose if you see the IRCTC purely running on the SAP you see this site also is like a HTTPS communication if you have the log symbol 
all the url like a https or http http means it's not the secure http means http means it's a so https is the secure one https is the so secured secured one here http not secured one here so let me write it here you can understand here http is the non secure https is the secure one secure certificate here so in this case suppose if secure means secure means no one cannot hack anything here non secure means the people can log into the browser and they can hack your systems here they can hack the systems here but here they cannot hack the systems here why because it's a https lock symbol is enabled here so this type of configuration we have to do it in the ssl server standard here ssl server standard here what we have to do we need to create the one pse one pse here we have to create the pse here then we have to create the pse like your company name dot domain dot com so like google dot com something like that we have to create the one pse here my company dot com right so something like that we can create it here <coughs> so then So if you create it here, now SSL server standard is created, then select this certificate here. Now you see, then there is a click on the certificate request here, then you will get the code. This code we have to send to the certified CA response certificates. So then they will send you the response certificate. Then we have to import the response certificates to the here so that import the response. We have to generate the code then we have to send this to the CSR request to the, the concerned people. So they will send you the, the response certificate to you. Then you can import the response certificate into the SAP system. That time, each and every connection which is there in the SAP system, that will be a security. That will be a pure security protocols here, right? So no one cannot hack that type of file systems here, right? So SNC purpose this one. This is the system internal system to system communication SSO configuration side. We will use this one. Pure HTTPS communication purpose. We will use this system PSC certificates. This folder SSL server standard certificates. We will use it here. Right. So the next one is called the SSL client anonymous. SSL client anonymous here. So this is used for communication with the third party systems to use server only authentication. So server only authentication here means anonymous. Anonymous means, so so it's like a, it's kind of communication with the third party systems that use only server only authentication purpose. We will use, the, suppose if any third party systems are there, third party means some banking servers, some non-SAP servers, some third party non-SAP servers, banking servers, those related certificates we have to import here in the in this psc in this psc you have to import those certificates here so how to import the certificates means similar if any psc if you want to import the certificates here if you just scroll down here you will get the options here import the certificate just click on the import the certificate and export the certificate so that certificate will be added to the to psc and acl list here right that is what we have to do it in the ssl server standard and all those things here. That is the pure HTTPS communication. Anything if you want to open in the backend, a pure HTTPS means you need to use this one here, right? So then SSL client anonymous is for the third party communication, third party systems, third party systems, we will use it here. Third party communication purpose, we will use it here, right? So, and also we have the standard. You can see SSL client, SSL standard PS is so between standard and anonymous PSCs are there here, That's right? So what is this here? What is this standard PSC? So so this must be exist to work SSL, right? Standard identity. So so standard identification purpose. We have this one here. We have this one here. So the 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 client SSL client PSC. The SSL client C. This is the one standard is for the communication with the other SAP systems, other SAP organization, SAP systems, and other servers with the same SAP systems using the SSL client certificate purpose, authentication purpose, we will use the 
standard standard excel client certificate here so excel client certificate is for the communication with the other sap systems communication with the other sap system and other sap servers the same name of other sap systems so means other sap systems you want to excel communication that systems we have to that system certificates we have to generate we have to import into the here right excel client means so SSL client PSE standard means here. So it's a communication with the other in your internal organization, internal SAP systems and other servers with the same SAP systems. We use an SSL client certificates for the authentication purpose, right? System to system communications here, right? So SSL client certificate only, we can only use it for the connection here. We can only use it for the connection here. So this anonymous is for the third party. Anonymous is for the third party system that owes the only server only authentication, right? This is for the, this is for the, this client is standard is for the communication with the other SAP systems, other SAP systems and other SAP servers and everything. We will use this SSL client standard, client standard. This is the web services related, not much important, yes? So this here, the main thing is the SSL client standard, anonymous server standard. So these are the some important things which you should know about this one here, right? Here we have to import the certificate, other system certificate to the here, this system certificate into the their SSL extras photo transaction code, they have to import it to the here. So if you want to renewal the SSL server standard certificate, then just click on the execute period CSR request button a request will be generated. This request we have to send to the respective team. They will send you the response. The response certificate we have to import to the here. That is what we have to do. Okay. This is the SSL server standard related certificates here. Got it? Any questions? Anyone? It's clear? Then, uh, while this is here there is a one more sometimes we may have to so here once you added the certificate once other the other system certificate to the here suppose you have added other system certificates to the here right then you need to add to the certificate list and you need to add to the acl list here acl list means access control list access control list we have to input the certificate we have to add the system to the here then only other systems will easily can connect to the our SAP systems. Otherwise, we may face the connection issues and everything here, right? So that is the one of the important point you should remember. Important point you should remember here, right? So that is about the so yes trust.